For 42, trapping rainwater, we're given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1. Compute how much water it is able to trap after raining. So here 1, we can trap water here, here, and here. This elevation map is represented by 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1. The output should be 6. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, we need to calculate, uh, yeah, for, for each point, we need to calculate the maximum of the left part and the maximum of the right part, and the, choose the main, smaller one and calculate the uh, result. Calculate the water and some of them are up, right? Let's make it more uh, in a let's think it think about it in a more iteration way. Let's suppose that there is a two bar at the first big first two bar border, which means something like uh, uh, this. If we only have two the uh, points, uh, which means the borders, we can see that the water should be between, the water should be like this, right? Yeah. If something is, be, if we now insert a new bar, which is out of this part, the water of this doesn't change. If we insert a bar here, The steel water could be trapped here, but with an extra part here, right? Yeah, if you, in, if you insert a bar inside it, and it's smaller than both, then it still doesn't make any, any difference with the water could be trapped here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the real amount would be smaller, but the basic, basic, the place where the water is trapped doesn't change. But if it's larger, It's something like this. Then things would be a diff little different because now the, there's a new area of water being trapped here, right? But the water here doesn't change. The water here, yeah, in this area, doesn't change. That reminds me. That, that reminds us that actually the border, the mean, the, the smaller border, could be ripped off from the graph and it doesn't change anything, right? Yeah, suppose there are a lot of borders like this one. The minimum, it would be like, like this part. We can just uh, tear this down because ap after we calculate in the water, yeah, and tear this down, and it, did, and it has no effects about, about the rest. You see that for, for a short bar and the, right, uh, the tall bar, Tall bar. You can just loop through all the borders within them, uh, uh, between them, and define find the difference of the of the tallness of the height of the bar from the first one because it's smaller. So if we met some, with many new bar which is shorter, we just calculate to the the water. Until we make something larger like this one, then we can just uh, this area is fixed, and we can just rip them up. And now the problem become, yeah, in a in a in a, in a recursion way. Every time we every time we uh, every time we calculate the outmost water area, and rip up the border until we met only until there is only one left. Yeah, and that will be the end of our recursion. So, with this in mind, remember that we need to start from the smaller border. So, what do we do? Just like we analyzed about the problem, we could place two borders and insert the borders within 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 them. 
That reminds us we can use actually first try to tear this border and this border down, right? But which one is first? Of course, the shorter one. Because if, it, if it's border like uh, one, two, three, four, five, if you if you uh, if you solve this problem from the right side, it will not help anything, right? You can't find any border taller than five. You would need to track the minimum. But if you're from the left side, it's gonna be easier because I can safely tear this one and then tear this one and tear and tear tear three. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's why we're using the two cursors. It's i equals zero. There's j equals height. Hmm. And then th while a i is smaller than j, when i meets j, this that's the end of this problem. So now we need to find the smallest one. If h i is smaller than height j, then we if left one is smaller, then we Continue, continuing f searching the next number, which is just bigger than it, and uh, stop at the right, or stop, stop, stop at there. Stop there. Now their sum is one. Okay, this is the sum of the uh, water trapped, being trapped. <laughs> now it means that uh, we need to do in a inner loop. In, inside this if condition, which means I'll set k equals i. Mm, yeah, k is smarter. We will find the next number. We will stop at the number where the next number is bigger than it. Yeah, so while hit k plus one. Yeah, while hit, while next one is small smaller or, or not bigger than than hey hate i then we just to Add the add the water to the sum, right? It means because we're comparing to i. And i is the border. There would be no water at at the, the point of i. So k should be starting. Yeah, it should be starting with k. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the water, sh the, the the amount should be height k. If next one is, uh, if next one, if it is bigger than next one. Oh no! If uh, the next one is smaller or equal to the uh, height i. We should wait a minute. We should stop at uh, well, k. Okay, here, here. We should stop at the number which is bigger than height i. So k must be checked here. I and height. If it is smaller than it, it will stop at when this one is bigger than it. Yeah. And the sum would be. Minus height i. This is the water. It, it could be trapped. And k plus equals one. Simil similarity. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if, if they are equal. Yeah, any. We could place the equal mark here. Then k equals j. Wow, k is smaller than j. Then some k j. The k should be minus one. Yeah, and finally, we return sum. Not that difficult, right? The edge case. If there is nothing, 
then it will be nothing here, so it will be to be zero. If it's only one, they are met, it will still be zero. Hmm? Time limited. Ah, God, my bad. We only stop. We need to set the i, my bad, j equals k. So for these solution time, oh, uh, output, ah, God, I have made, made a mistake here. It should be to the right order. Yeah, the time, every number is only traversed only once, so this should be O N space. We only use a few variables to keep the to enable our uh, traversal, so it would be constant. Let's submit. Hmm? Wrong answer. Why? So it says us log the i j num height i and height j. There would be, I think there is nothing wrong in the idea. Maybe there are some. Uh, edge cases that I fail to to take into consideration. So the first one is zero, nine, five, six, and then go to three, nine, yeah, and then go to three, eight. So the sum, mm -hmm. there should be no problem here. Five, five. Okay, we lock the sum also. Height i, j, okay. The first sum is zero and then sum becomes four. Three nine. So here should be should be four. Yeah, it's right. It should be four. And then seven six should be four again. Yeah. And then should we go to this loop? And uh, it should be. Six six two. So console log sum k sum. Okay, one zero seven should be six. 10, yeah, 16, 18, 23, and uh, what, hmm? why is 24? We got 10. K would be 10. There's nothing. There's no 10. Uh, got to line 9. 
Ah, God, God. So actually, in this inner loop, the i exceeded j. Yeah, k should be smaller than j. k should be bigger than i. Wow, this is a tricky, tricky bug for my for my solution. Attention, we should pay attention more about the uh, boundaries, about the edge cases, about the conditions that we should stop the the the, the for loop. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one. So, see you next time. Bye bye.